So this right here is one of my inventions, the Rage Quit Protector. And this is a knockoff version of my invention being sold at Walmart. And not just one knockoff of this invention, there is an entire page of drop shippers from China selling my invention. And not only that, the photos in the listing are actually the same exact photos taken from my Instagram page. So of course I had to purchase one to find out exactly what the hell is going on. But let's go ahead and take a quick step back for a second. This right here is the Rage Quit Protector. Okay, just picture this real quick. You're playing video games and when things get a little bit heated, you maybe smash your controller on the ground. So with this invention, all you have to do is slide your controller into the air bubble. You can still see all the controls through the clear top and now when you get pissed off and you throw it across the room, it always lands safe and sound and you never break your controller. Genius. Like I say, it's genius, like all my other inventions. But speaking of inventions that infringe on intellectual property, I'm sure most of you remember the good old Croc gloves. Which also got me a nice little cease and desist letter. And this was a little bit different than what we're dealing with here. Because the main complaint of the Croc cease and desist wasn't that I was stealing the design of the shoes and turning them into gloves. It was a little bit more that I was using the Crocs trademarked name and their logo in the little rivets on the side that added some confusion if Crocs was actually making this invention. So on paper, they're actually technically called the Gator Grips. Wait, I don't think I ever talked about this on the channel. About a year and a half ago, I talked to the director of collaborations at Crocs and they were like, absolutely, let's do a collaboration and then they ghosted me. So, if you're watching this video, can we please do a collaboration? Everybody wants them. Everybody wants the Croc gloves. But what I'm dealing with here is them completely ripping off my invention idea and trying to sell it as their own. Which I might actually be a little bit guilty of myself for another one of my inventions. Let me tell you about that story. This is another one of my inventions, the cable clamp cover. And it maybe completely infringes on a patent that already exists, and I just had no idea. So this invention here replaces your outlet cover. So on the back here, you just gotta slide your iPhone cable in. Then the USB brick fits in perfectly right there. So when you reattach it to your wall, no one is ever gonna be able to steal your iPhone cable or the brick ever again. And so about a week after I posted this invention on my social media channels, I got an email from this company. And this right here is the locked cable cover. And just like my invention, it keeps your cable and your USB brick completely safe. But they reached out to me and they were like, yeah, so we actually already own the patent to that product. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison to their patent and the design that I came up with. I mean, it looks the same. It, it's, it looks like the exact same product. And if I actually had any intention to actually sell one of these inventions, I would do a little bit of research before I completely ripped them off. I do want to test it out though. I want to see how it actually, oh, they actually give you a brick. And that's pretty much what I told these guys is that I have zero plans of actually making this. But the one thing I don't think people know is that patents are still kind of a tricky territory. And not a week goes by without people asking, do you patent your inventions? Nope, nobody's getting that. So go ahead and get the lock charger. I'll put a link down in the description for this guy. I actually just saw a TikTok this past week that gave a great example on kind of my own feelings around patents. If we make a patent for this keyboard, that means if we change anything about this keyboard, we have to file a new patent, which costs something in the ballpark of $25,000. What that also means is we'd have to disclose exactly how we make it. And then once you submit that information, it becomes public knowledge and anyone can look it up. Even still, most people won't take the risk of copying it exactly. Dangerous part is the fact that they know how it's made, meaning they know how to not make exactly what you made. So it's super easy to make an alternative that doesn't infringe on the patent. You can technically sue somebody over that, but having a patent doesn't mean you'll win a lawsuit. It only gives you the right to sue somebody. And even if we did try suing Logitech, they're a billion dollar company. 
we started a year ago. So the best thing we can do is keep investing in our community and building new innovative products. So it would cost upwards of $25,000 to patent this invention. And I've got over 300 inventions at this point, so that would get a little bit expensive. You know, and even then they could change up the design, maybe get rid of the holes here. Maybe it's like a zipper top, so then you put it in and you zip it on that way. And just because I have the patent doesn't mean I'm gonna get the company to stop selling the product right away. I would still have to sue them pay for lawyers. Plus, most of those drop shippers were located in China, so that would be a whole nother cup of worms. Cup of worms, is that the saying? I don't know. I'm sure if I had the patent, I could at least get Walmart to take it off their website, but I'm sure they would just crop up somewhere else. And even still, they might come up with a design that has the same functionality, but is different enough so it doesn't infringe on my patent. Just like this Lego vacuum. This is not my Lego vacuum, but this is another Lego vacuum that just launched. On this very channel a couple months ago, I designed and built my very own Lego vacuum that attached to a shop vac. So once you had Lego pieces all over the ground, this would suck it up, but it also sorted all of the different pieces by their size as you suck them off the ground. And it was kind of a similar story to the last one where they hit me up and he was like, I've been working on this idea for like three years now and it actually launches in a couple weeks. And I'm sure that he has his own patent for this product Product, but it is just different enough from my design that I came up with. If I had a patent for my Lego Suck It, I'm sure as hell it would not be infringing on the patent for this invention. Even though they both do basically the same exact thing. I'm gonna assume that this snaps right onto here. And it now most certainly comes down to who has a bigger community to sell their product. And I think that's why he hit me up. He was like, um, hey, can I send you one of these so that you can test it out? Cause he got it. He knew that I wasn't selling my Lego vacuum, but he wanted to see how his Lego vacuum stood up to my Lego vacuum. So it's just to say that there's much more to a product design than just the actual product. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the pickup bricks. We'll grab the hose. Great suction. Great, great suction though and then they just get yeeted into the basket here. I gotta say that this is actually pretty damn solid. And just like the lock charger, I'm gonna put a link down in the description for the pickup bricks if you have a kid, cause I'm actually, I'm gonna send this to my niece and nephew who absolutely love Lego. And I'm sure my sister is going to love me that they are gonna start cleaning up their own Lego. I've actually been collecting sort of a little collection of inventions that are similar to ones that I've come out with, whether it's just a coincidence or they did knock me off in their own way. But should I do a series here on my channel of testing out knockoff versions of my own inventions? Let me, let me know down in the comments. And now for the part of the video that you probably have been waiting for me to get to this entire time. So thank you for sticking around. Let's go ahead and finally unbox this knockoff invention. Open it up. Oh, wait, I ordered a blue one and a, and a red one showed up. Great quality control already. And as I thought, it does say made in China here. For this invention, I actually designed this here in the studio, but then this final version was made in a factory overseas in China. That's how it looks so professional. And I am planning on selling this myself. I just don't have the inventory yet. So please don't buy it off of Walmart. Just give me a little bit more time and you can get it from me. Open it up and take it out. Oh, it's different. It is, well, it's slightly different. Oh my God, that's interesting. But right off the bat, the top of mine is clear, but the bottom of it is opaque. And on this one, it's transparent all the way through top and bottom. A few other immediate things I've noticed, it seems like it is slightly bigger than this one. And the plastic is definitely thinner. At least I hopefully know with those few differences between this one and mine, that my manufacturer who made me this sample isn't mass producing it for other people. Someone just watched the video and tried to replicate it to the best of their ability watching my video, which is honestly like insane that they were able to do that. Let's blow it up though. This thing sucks. Oh wait, I have a better way to compare them. I do have a red one that matches this red one. 
but you can immediately see the different sizing. So this one is mine, and this one is the knockoff. I would say it's like 30% bigger. And I'm not sure if you can tell from the video, but mine, the red color, is definitely a lot more vibrant than the knockoff. And also, look at the difference in the size of the hole that the controller is supposed to go in. I mean, look how easily it just goes in and out. If this thing hit the ground, I feel like your controller is just gonna fly out of this hole and possibly still break. But I think I'm gonna have to do a disclaimer of when I sell these that if your controller breaks, it's not my problem. It's not, that's a you problem, not a me problem. It's losing air. The cap is fully on it, but somehow it is just completely deflated on the top now. Big thumbs down, big thumbs down in my book. Horrible quality, amazing quality, horrible quality, amazing quality. So the big question is what am I gonna do about this? And honestly, I really have no idea. Maybe if you guys share the video, Walmart will take down the knockoff version of my invention from their site but then I'm gonna have to track down everywhere else that it's still up. If you do wanna support me, you can go ahead and pick up my new board game, Unnecessary Inventions The Game. I'll throw a link down in the description for that, and this is something you can buy right now. It's a really fun card game for you and your friends to invent brand new inventions. But horrible quality. Horrible, horrible quality. And I hope you at least took something out of it around patent, product design, community, all that fun stuff. But with that, I think I'm gonna let out some of my anger that knockoff versions of my own inventions are being sold, play some Fortnite, and absolutely slam my controller, but it won't break. And I'll see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya. Yeah.